In the annals of history, certain figures emerge as pivotal architects of change, shaping the destiny of nations. William the Silent, also known as William of Orange, stands prominently among such transformative leaders. As a key player in the Dutch revolt against Spanish rule during the 16th century, William's strategic brilliance, diplomatic finesse, and unwavering commitment to religious freedom laid the foundation for the independence of the Netherlands. This article delves into the life and legacy of William the Silent, examining his crucial role in the birth of the Dutch nation. I Early Life and Rise to Power Born in 1533 into the powerful House of Nassau in Germany, William inherited vast territories and titles. Raised in the court of Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor, he received an education that would shape his destiny. As a young nobleman, William gained valuable military experience in campaigns across Europe, establishing himself as a capable and charismatic leader. William's rise to prominence in the Netherlands was accelerated when he inherited the title of Prince of Orange from his cousin in 1544. This marked the beginning of his association with the House of Orange Nassau, a dynasty that would play a pivotal role in Dutch history. 2. Dutch Revolt and Struggle for Religious Freedom By the mid-16th century, the Spanish Habsburg monarchy, led by Philip II, sought to suppress the burgeoning Protestant Reformation in its territories. The Dutch provinces, predominantly Calvinist, resisted the heavy-handed rule of Philip II, sparking the Dutch Revolt in 1568. William, initially a loyal servant of the Spanish crown, found himself increasingly at odds with the oppressive policies imposed by Philip II. His conversion to Calvinism and growing concerns about the erosion of local privileges fueled his commitment to resisting Spanish tyranny. 3. Tactical Brilliance and Military Leadership William the Silent distinguished himself as a brilliant military strategist during the Dutch Revolt. His unconventional warfare tactics, including the innovative use of water defenses and guerrilla warfare, allowed the Dutch forces to withstand the superior might of the Spanish army. Notable victories, such as the Battle of Heiligerly in 1568, showcased his military acumen and boosted the morale of the Dutch rebels. For 4. The Act of Abjuration and Independence As tensions escalated, William recognized the need for a unified front against Spanish rule. In 1581, he played a crucial role in the drafting of the Act of Abjuration, a declaration that officially renounced Philip II's sovereignty and asserted the right of the Dutch provinces to self-governance. This document laid the groundwork for the formal establishment of the independent Dutch Republic. V. Diplomacy and Legacy Beyond the battlefield, William the Silent displayed remarkable diplomatic skill. He sought alliances with foreign powers, most notably forming an alliance with England through his son's marriage to Elizabeth I's daughter. William's ability to navigate the complex web of European politics bolstered the Dutch cause and contributed to their ultimate success. Tragically, William's life was cut short in 1584 when he was assassinated by a fanatic opposed to his support for religious tolerance. However, his legacy endured. His son, Maurice of Nassau, continued the fight for Dutch independence, and in 1648, the Peace of Westphalia formally recognized the Republic of the United Provinces as an independent state. Conclusion William the Silent's indomitable spirit, strategic brilliance and commitment to religious freedom left an indelible mark on the history of the Netherlands. His legacy as the father of the fatherland endures, with his contributions to the establishment of the Dutch Republic celebrated as a beacon of resilience, courage, and the enduring pursuit of freedom. William the Silent's life serves as a testament to the power of leadership in shaping the destiny of nations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.